Hello, good morning from the Lake District. We're on holiday, aren't we, babe? We are indeed. We're on our holly bobs. So we have come for our first big holiday of the year. We've come for a week away in the Lake District. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm kind of, oh, by the way, I am wearing my um, dressing gown curls again today. How cool are these curls? They're cool. They're cool. Cool curls. Cool curls. <laughs> They're like curly fries. <laughs> Ant thinks it's so funny when I get into bed at night and I've got like these big twizzles <laughs> on the side of my head. Do you like it when I have my heatless curls in? They look good. Yeah? I think they look good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, as I was saying, I cannot believe it's taken me until now to come on a proper walking holiday to the Lake District. Like, I've been to the Lake District before. I went when I was younger. I went in 2018 with my parents. But this is before I really got into hiking. And if you're from England and you're into hiking, you know the Lake District is basically like the hiking capital of England. It's where we have our highest mountain in England, Scarfell Pike, and it's where we just have the most incredible dramatic scenery that we probably do have in our country. So it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited to be here for a week hiking and adventuring and taking in all the beautiful sights and sounds and just amazingness of the nature here. Yesterday was phenomenal weather. I probably should have vlogged because it's probably the best weather we're going to get all week but I just wanted to enjoy it because it was our first day here. Um, but we're hopefully going to get like not not too much rain today, hopefully not any rain today. So it's just going to be cloudy and grey but hopefully you'll get to see some absolutely beautiful scenery. I mean I didn't even bring a raincoat, I'm that optimistic. And is, you're not optimistic, you're just naive. <laughs> Just optimistic, very optimistic. <laughs> if I don't bring one, then it's not gonna rain. Well, it's definitely gonna rain this week because this is England, but I'm really hoping it's not gonna rain today. And we're gonna get in an amazing hike. And yesterday we did a 21 kilometer hike with mm. 1,200 meters of elevation gain. And it was absolutely brutal, but stunning. It was good. Like, unreal. It was really off the beaten path. I posted about it over on my Instagram. So head over there if you wanna check it out. Um, How are my eyes looking? Why? Because I've never put my contacts in this early and I feel like my eyes are only waking up now. <laughs> I need a coffee. Can you get a coffee please? Yes, yes we can get a coffee. But we need to tell them what we're doing first, so... We're going to go for a walk and then we're going for a swim and we'll check with you later. Is that your tummy rumbling? Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. And, and I okay. need a coffee. I'll tell you more information in the car. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to go for the day. This is my backpack that I use. I do have a blog post where I talk all about the kit that I take on a day hike, which I will leave in the description box. I love this Osprey backpack and my game changing piece of equipment is this little water bladder because you can just like have it clipped to your front and sit from it and it helps you stay super hydrated. What are you doing? Just spying on Bella. I just saw she came in through the cat flap. So now he's watching her. On our first night, what did we do at dinner, babe? We watched Bella for 20 minutes. Yeah, we just sat and drank peppermint tea and watched Bella on the CCTV. <sighs> Don't worry guys, she does have a little cat sitter who looks after her. Do you love her? Yeah. Do you miss her? Yeah. <laughs> we are in the car and we are en route to do our hike for the day. Now, made a little stop in Windermere. We were just saying, how bougie is Windermere, babe? It's bougie. It's yeah. so bougie. I mean, we've seen Lamborghinis, Ferraris. Just saw a four by four Aston Martin, which I've not even seen driving around central London. Yeah, it's mad. It's so bougie around here. I did not realize that Windermere was a bougie place, but it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that Windermere has is it has a fantastic coffee shop which loads of you guys have recommended to me on Instagram. It's called Home Ground. So I popped in and got myself an oat milk latte this morning, which I'll do a little, little taste test right now. That is fantastic, babe. I didn't have a coffee at the hotel because I'm a little bit of a, I don't know, a fussy girl with my coffee. Mm. And an oat milk latte. Yeah, it has to be a good one. I knew this was going to be good, so. Mm. Yum, okay, so. So let me tell you the plan for the day. I have made us a custom hiking route on all trails. Guys, we need to come together 
to get me sponsored by all trails because you know <laughs> how much i use and love them i'm a paying member and i'm obsessed and i feel like my dream sponsorship and my life goal is for all all trails to sponsor me okay so i made us a custom route which goes up to old man of coniston now if you know the lake district you might know that's a quite a famous hike but there's a particular route that i wanted to do which kind of loops in old man of coniston with a few of the surrounding peaks and i couldn't find that online so i just made my own custom map on all trails just here so there you go so that is the route for the day i will leave a link down below to this route i will save it and make it public so you guys can use it if you want to use it when you go to the lake district and basically it goes up old man of coniston then also takes in Dove Crag, Buck Pike, Brown Pike, and what's this one called? Brim? Brimfell. Brimfell. So yeah, it takes in about five different peaks and a couple of tarns, which are like little lakes, in one hike. And it's only 11 kilometers long and 800 meters of elevation gain. So it's actually not that bad. I feel like after yesterday, we kind of want to alternate between like 20k plus hikes and like 10 to 15 kilometer hikes. So today we're doing a bit more of a manageable length hike. And yeah, I'll take you with us and show you all of the beauty. I'm not going to lie. I did look at the peaks this morning and the clouds look quite low, but I'm just hoping that the clouds will lift. <laughs> We have made it to the start of the hike and this is the view from the car park. Incredible, let me turn the camera around. So this is what it looks like. And we are gonna be following this route right into the mountains and then up to the peaks. And as you can see, there's some low cloud today. I'm just keeping my fingers, toes and everything crossed that it lifts. And even if it doesn't, it'll still be stunning. Are you ready for this? Yeah, ready. Are you ready to sweat, babe? No. We're definitely gonna sweat. Gonna be sweaty. Oh, it's definitely gonna be sweaty. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm in my element. I'm excited for life. Look at these views. Oh, look, this is the old quarry then. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, there's a waterfall over there. Oh, that's a bit of you. He loves a waterfall. Oh, guys. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> so this is the first ruin we've come across on the hike. As you can see, it's in tatters. It says, archaeological site, please don't disturb this fragile site, leave the iron artifacts in place. And yeah, you can see all sorts of equipment in there, I guess for mining and doing all that sort of good stuff. Sorry, I'm panting, but look what we just found. An actual entrance, an entrance into the mines. This is so cool, isn't it? Cool. Such an interesting trail. First stop of the day, we have found this gorgeous lake en route. This is called Low Water. And it'd be nice to go for a little refreshing dip halfway up the mountain here, but we're going to save our swim for later today. It's a little couple. Hi, friends. You've got a nice little swimming spot here, haven't you? Guys, can you see those sheep on the edge of the mountain? They literally have no fear. They are more courageous than me. I'll be seeing a brick up there. So we started down there, it's where the car park is. And then we took that trail along this side of the ridge. And now we're up in the clouds. Guys. I'm sweating, I'm panning. Yeah, we should get moving. Get it's quite go. cold where we are. Yeah, we've probably got about another 150 meters to go to get to the top. Elevation gain. Elevation gain, yeah. No, we've probably got a bit longer in actual walking. Yeah. Let's go. All right, smite pants, bloody hell. <laughs> it's a bit of a scramble towards the top. It's all right though, it'd be worth it. Can you see the sweat dripping down me? It's, it's real. It's real. I feel like I'm steaming. And this is it. Old Man of Coniston. We've reached the summit. We're pretty much inside a cloud. But we've still got some amazing views of the route that we've come up. 
we've made it to the top. I'm covered in sweat, but I've let my hair down to hopefully help the sweat dry out. So that there, if you can see it, is Old Man of Coniston, which is the main point that people hike up to. And we are now going to extend the hike by walking along the ridge and go past four more peaks. I mean, we're going to be inside a cloud, but it's still going to be enjoyable. I think it's still going to be a beautiful day. Yeah, it will be. It will be. I like being in clouds. Peak number dos, two, Brimfell. Here it is. Done. Beach On to the next one. Oh look, cloud is clearing. Oh look at this cloud here. The sun here. is trying. The sun is trying to break through the cloud. Come on. Come on sun, you can do it. And this is where we're heading. We're gonna go up here and then walk all the way along this ridge. You can feel it. Peak number three. Let me find out the name. This is the actual peak. Just here, you can climb up to the top. Let me find out the name for you guys. Dow Crag. We've made it to the summit. Please excuse our tripod. We're just getting some little photos on the edge of the mountain. And we are now gonna have some snacks. Oh, hello, bug. We stopped off at, the... can you please? Give me some personal space. Um, stopped off at Sainsbury's and got some snacks. These are one of my favourite, the brave chickpeas in sea salt flavour. And we also got some like Whitworth's little snack shots. So that is, oh, and I also picked us up this. Mm. This is a peanut butter jam blondie from Home Ground Coffee Shop. Oh my God, I forgot I picked this up. I am very excited. Where's the path? Fourth peak, Buck, Pike, boom. What's the view look like? Yeah, that's a pretty awesome view. Now I don't know if you guys can see that big lake just there in the haze. I think that's Coniston Water and that's where we're hoping to have a swim later today, yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah. You actually haven't got your swimming trunks, but you just swim in your gym shorts, don't you? Yeah. Okay, I'm a swimming trunk. <laughs> this is it. Woo! Fifth summit. Brown Pike. The clouds have lifted, and we have got unbelievable views over where we've hiked. We've been up to the summit of that one. We've been all the way around, down to the valley, back up, up to these summits. Oh, yes. I feel accomplished. Having a good old bum scratch. <laughs> Look at these sheep scratching their bums. Oh, she's just have a little neck scratch. Get it, get the spot. Get it, girl. What a hike! Yay! Yay, right. yay, 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 yay! You like that hike? Yeah, well done. I loved it. I loved it, I loved it. I was just saying to Ant, like, the best feeling is when you get to the end of a hike and you look back on what you achieved and you're like, damn, my body carried me up that. And I'm yeah. so grateful that my body can do that. We did well, we did well. We did really well today. Really, really, oh, really God. well. So now we're gonna go and refuel at Chester's. By the water? Chester's by the water, Chester's by the river. It's a 16 minute drive. One of those places. Lots of you guys recommended it to us. I've actually been before when I came to the Lake District in 2018 and I remember it being very good. So we're gonna head there oh, now. Nice and the clouds have lifted the sun is peeking through the clouds so hopefully a little bit of sunshine will come out this afternoon for us to have a wild swim this is the lunch situation we have got a veggie sausage roll a focaccia a carrot cake flapjack and it's gone for a passion fruit drink oh and of course pita chips this is anthony moore we're talking about and i went for this kombucha because it has two great taste stars so i thought it must be pretty damn good the hunt for a swimming spot begins. This is gorgeous isn't it? Jackpot. We have found a little slice of paradise on the side of Coniston Water. We've set up camp and we are going to get in. It's going to be refreshing isn't it babe? It's going to be cold. It's going to be really blooming cold. Nice. Nice top. What are you wearing? 
So I'm actually wearing, bam, the Stay Wild <laughs> Odyssey One Piece. Oh, <laughs> in the khaki colour. I'm going to wear this to swim. Yes, it's around my hips, but basically it is the perfect one piece for wild swimming. It's basically built for active pursuits because it like zips you in and holds you in and makes you feel all sorts of secure and like a bond girl. So yeah, I'll leave a link down below. It's my favorite. So this is my hot date for tonight, it's Zanna Van Dyke. It's me. Shall I show you my outfit? Yeah, this is the OOTD. OOTD. So I've got shoes and top from And Other Stories. Just don't look at my feet. You know girls with cute feet? I'm not one of them. I have black toenails from hiking and about seven blisters on each foot. So yay for that. My jeans are from a tall Australian brand called Height of Fashion and I am obsessed with them. The length is amazing. My fellow tall ladies. And this blazer is from In The Froze collaboration with Holland Cooper. And I love it. Nice. So yeah, that's today's outfit. We're going for dinner at the hotel's restaurant. We're at a little bit of a, of a posh hotel. So they've got a posh restaurant. So it's an excuse for me to get dressed up, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, we're gonna head downstairs and get some g and What about your sunnies? Yeah. Where oh, are yeah. your sunnies from? These are also under the stories. So nice. shoes, top and sunnies are all under the stories. Why don't you take one of your sandals off and, and, and show the team? Do they not see the shoes? No, I didn't, I didn't pan down to, Just I didn't to want show, to, to show my your hobbit feet. feet. <laughs> my hobbit feet. To be nice. fair, you're Frodo with your hobbit feet and I'm just Samwise Ganji. I'm the assistant hobbit. Samwise, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Check out the view from our hotel's balcony. You can sit up here, have a cheeky g and and look over Lake Windermere. Great news, our hotel has a dedicated vegetarian menu, so let's see what they got. Damn guys, this restaurant at the hotel is fancy. That is fancy food, isn't it? It's fancy. <laughs> I've got a couple of new potatoes. We've got some bread. <laughs> and then Zoe's got some, some aubergine. And that's that. It's fancy. It's fancy. <laughs> we have just finished our dinner. It was very fancy. And we it have was. ordered some dessert to the room, haven't we? It's coming. It's coming. So we've got dessert to come to the room because... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that's all it squeaked. Is that a mouse? We've got a mouse in the house. <laughs> Oh my god, you got a mouse and an orifice. Um, so we so we got dessert sent up here because priority number one is watching Line of Duty. And we yeah. want to watch Line of Duty in bed with dessert. I fell asleep. So last, last night we night, were meant to watch some early. and then and fell asleep. So we're gonna watch it tonight with some dessert in bed. Can't wait. And that is our day today. So hopefully that... you guys enjoyed coming along with us. We loved sharing it with you. We're gonna have a bit more of a chill day tomorrow because Ant's knee has been playing up. So we're gonna have a little bit more of like a sunbathing chill by the lake, aren't we? So have a good day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Tell your friends and we love you loads. Bye. See ya. <laughs>